This microsite that we're working on today is probably 76 to 78 million years old. Microsites are very useful to study because you have lots of different species and lots of different individuals of all the species. So it gives you a much better picture of everything that was living at that time. So you're looking at the ground trying to see pieces of turtle shell and teeth. And once you start seeing that, you know there's probably going to be more of it. So that's what we look for. So this one is a turtle shell. That's part of the back shell of the turtle. Um, we call them scoots and the different pieces of the shell. And this that looks kind of similar is also a scoot, but this is from an alligator. Um, you know how alligators have kind of that bumpy surface on their back? Well, underneath that are these little bony plates. So they're all covered with these bony scoots and that helps protect them. And this little thing over here is a garfish scale. There's still garfish alive today. Uh, this is the same animal. And uh, they're covered with these very thick scales, a lot tougher than most fish scales. So they preserve really well. And um, this little guy is a duckbill dinosaur tooth. Uh, it's a pretty small one. Actually, it might have been from a baby. This is a crocodile tooth, alligator crocodile, um, either one. And uh, this is from a little dinosaur called Sauronithelestes. And um, Sauronithelestes was one of the smaller theropods, so he was a little meat-eating dinosaur, kind of like the raptors in Jurassic Park, this little small version of that. So we got these little teeth. And these are all very common fossils that we find in the microsites. We are continuing to find more bones here every day we look. And uh, big bones and microsite stuff, little teeth. So there's lots more to be found here.